Hi guys, who doesn't dream of seeing his own name on the top 10 world ranking of a Gran Turismo 7 event? So you can practice for years and spend thousands of hours to become one of the world's fastest players. Or you just do this. Maybe the most stupid way to make it to the top of a ranking board. Bugatti Veyron on the Nordschleife sounds exciting, but it's not because our task is to save as much fuel as possible. The first thing we do is setting the fuel map on 6. Instead of going 0 to 100 in less than 3 seconds, we do 0 to 20 without even touching the throttle. At about 25 km per hour, the car starts to glide and we accelerate downhill without even using fuel. Our goal is to maximize the speed on the downhill part, so we take a wide line through the first corners. If our speed drops too low for the current gear, our car will apply a small throttle input. I found out this is the most fuel efficient way to get your car around the track in Gran Turismo 7. So I use the small throttle inputs on the downhill parts to carry more speed to the next uphill part. On the way to Flugplatz, I used some throttle to make it over the top and never let my speed drop below 32 km. This allows us to start gliding early without using too much fuel until we reach our next downhill part. By the way, let me know in the comments what you think about a challenge like this. Is this Gran Turismo or is it just stupid? Also leave a comment what was your best result in this challenge. We want to reach about 120 km down the Fuchsröhre to carry the perfect speed through Adenauer Forst. If we go faster, we have to turn in harder and so we destroy the momentum and lose energy. We just want to make it over the top here, because now we have a downhill part till Wehrseifen. This is the only place on our lap where we have to break. I think about 80 km per hour is just perfect. I made a small mistake and clipped the inside of the curb. So I think this slowed down the car a little bit and we lost a few kilometers per hour which means we have to accelerate a little bit earlier on the next uphill part. Again, I'm using second gear because this is most efficient around 30 km per hour. We passed the distance for gold with almost 80% of fuel left. After Bergwerk, the boring task of the challenge starts. Our speed drops below 30 and we have to downshift into the first gear. But from here all we can do is just take the corners as tight as possible and let the car roll until our fuel runs out. So if you are tired of action and high speed races all the time, go for this challenge and top your friend list. And of course tell me if you found a way to go even further.
In the end, my car stopped at 12 kilometers, 558 meters. This is good enough for 8th place at the moment. But yeah, I don't know what's the trick of the first place doing more than one lap. I guess this must have been some kind of glitch or he found a special technique that I didn't discover yet.